We all know about the impact Jay Z has in the, in the music world and the hip hop culture as in general. He's also pretty savvy as far as kicks go. A couple years back, he did a collab with Reebok on the S. Dot Carters. Those things were some of the dark. I was going crazy. I remember trying to get them things right there, <laughs> black and pink, the Gucci looking ones, the red, white, and blue. It was just cold like back yeah, then. you got, had to have the S. Dot Carters. Well, Jay Z is still venturing in the world of sneakers. But this time it's with something that shouldn't be surprising because we see him rocking a lot of stuff. We see Meek Mill rocking a lot of things. Puma. Puma and, Suede. And, and now that Jay-Z is doing things in Puma, they're looking to make a splash in the NBA and in basketball in general. Right. Now, the first overall pick, and, and actually the first two picks in the NBA draft, DeAndre Ayton, who's now a member of the Phoenix Suns, Marvin Bagley, who's now a member of the Sacramento Kings, are two of the new faces of Puma basketball that bringing back the, the the Clyde Frazier's and kind of remodify the the look of the sneaker. It's, it's pretty dope, and you know they they, they they got some real slick things jumping off of them. Uh, Zaire Smith, who was taken by the Suns and then traded to the Sixers, he's also a representative of Puma, and and, and they signed the cat today. They signed somebody today. Who did? It's- Scary Terry, right? Scary, scary, scary Terry. Terry. Out, 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 yeah, there sure Boston, out, out there in Boston. I got a shoe deal. Signed a, a multi-year deal with them. We know about Rudy Gay messing with them. Skylar Diggins Smith is also a Puma representative, as well as Michael Porter Jr. We don't know when we'll see all him on the court. People. You know, like yeah, ball. all rock naked. I mean, Jay Z is a is a savvy, savvy businessman. So what? Well, you know what? What can we expect? Nike is a powerhouse in the world of basketball. And we'll continue. We we also know that Team Jordan, Jump Man, Jordan Brand, however you look at Michael Jordan's sneaker line, <laughs> is a powerhouse in the world of basketball. So can Puma sneak through the back door and make an impact in basketball? Uh, I mean, as a fellow sneakerhead, sneakerhead, uh, it depends. Because, I mean, the first thing y'all did, y'all signed two big men. And we all know outside of Shaq, no big men sell shoes. So fair point. So we're gonna have to see how that works out, and if Zaire could be, you know, get a little, uh, get a little buzz, probably. But uh, I think they did, they did all right by signing uh, Terry Rozier. I mean, he had a great playoff run. Now he got a, he got a shoe deal. He's probably come up for a play uh, for a He's contract. already said he's the face of Puma basketball now. All right, see, look, bro. See, sometimes time, look, he got to chill. Okay, he's the face. He had. Uh, he had a good month and a half. What we can say about him right now, he's he, the he's the only member of Puma basketball who's been in the playoffs. Oh uh, well. Well, Rudy, Rudy Gay. Gay. Rudy Gay. I was say Rudy Gay made the playoffs. My bad, Rudy. I was about to say Rudy made the playoffs a plenty of times in his career, but now Terry Rozier going back to being the backup because Kyrie come back. So how's that really going to work out for him? But like I said, he's he's he had a great season. They didn't need a, they didn't have to sign a guard. Because guards sell, guard sell shoes. And if we look besides LeBron, probably the only big man. Or forward, I should say, that's probably selling shoes that I could think of. Oh, KD. And, uh, I was going to throw KD out yeah, there. Yeah, but KD and LeBron are probably, you know, one of the only few forwards that actually selling shoes. So, I mean, that's a good look for Puma. We can see how they how they, their shoes going with the new technology, how they how they uh, upgraded their shoes. Because we saw how it happened with Vince Carter when he signed back in, <laughs> back in 98. He signed that that long term deal and got out of that got out of that contract within a year and a half. So, I mean, I think it's gonna it's gonna take off definitely in the uh, hip hop community. Well, Scary Terry is really confident in himself right now. He said, "Me signing with Puma is basically letting you know I'm taking over the Puma world. You got guys taking over Adidas. You got guys taking over Nike. Whatever. I'm competing with the Puma world and I'm taking that shit over from the jump. That's my whole thing." I feel like I'm going to turn up because I ain't never got a knock on nobody wearing Puma. I feel like I'm very marketable, and I'm the guy they needed to sign. So, I mean, everything Jay-Z puts his hands on, we must say, it, 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 well, it, it pretty much turns to gold, you know, especially in, in today's age. And I'm fascinated to see where do they take this. You know, Skylar Diggins is still balling in Nikes right now. She doesn't have a signature Puma shoe as of yet. Or she hasn't played any WNBA games. Now we see her in like off the court gear. She stays mm-hmm. in Puma Athletics and the Puma Sways and, and things of that nature. 
I want to see the color waves, how they mix it up. Yeah, you know, I want to like, see. I'm gonna, I want to see two color waves. The, yeah, the, the, the black, orange, and, the, the orange, orange and yellows, and the black and, the black and white. Ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, you know, I want to see how funky they get with the color waves. I also want to see are they going to give these players their own signature shoes? Because right now, as we mentioned, it's the remodel. The pretty Clyde's. much, yeah, the, the, the Clyde Fraser. If you if you cats don't know who Clyde is, look him up. One of the best to ever to ever pick up a Spalding and and get get it down. So you need to know your history and know who that brother is, but. Very fashionable too. Very fashionable. H. I know. I know you were around. You know when when Clyde dropped dropped the sneaks originally <laughs> and whatnot. You know we like the team. Yeah, we like tickets, we, we like, had season tickets in these games back then. What are, What are your <laughs> thoughts, man? Puma. Are, are you rocking Pumas? Are you Are you picking up the new Andre Aitons or the Michael Porter Juniors? I mean, they gotta do a different style because I'm not really rocking with them drums. It was old school, man. I'm not really feeling those guys. I I mean. I like. I mean, I got some. I got a pair of Pumas. I got the suede ones, right, but uh, right. yeah, 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 I got the paper suede. But the the whole back with you were talking about with with Terry Rozier's confidence. Yeah, I mean, you you might be the. I guess you'd be the. Well, now he's not even the longest senior one. I would say Rudy is. Being the face, you can't be the face and be a backup. You can't. You I, what face? You're a backup. Maybe, maybe he knows something we don't know that they gonna get rid of Kyrie. Okay, well, I mean, well or Kyrie Lee, or yeah, or Kyrie Lee's go to New York. Those are rumors. That but he'll, that I mean, as of right now, this this day and age, starting in uh, 2018, 2019 season, you're gonna be the backup. So does Puma <laughs> have to pick up a name? You know, a lot of people, although they do have dope sneaks, they buy. The Kevin Durant's because they're Kevin Durant. They buy the LeBron James because they're LeBron James. They buy the Kobe's because they're Kobe. Is Puma going to have to rely on the design they, of the sneaker, or are they going to have to get a they got, they a got marquee a, figure that you know? That's going to have to happen, or are they going to have at least hope one of these uh, rookies pop off? I'm not going to say this year because it's like I say, it's still big men. <laughs> but they might have to get a. They might have to get a. An established player because a lot of players, a lot of people coming up on uh, free agents, sneaker free agents at, uh, after the season. So you know, you got Devin Booker coming up. I think he he'll be a bigger face than uh, Terry Rozier. He's got seventy points in his career. I mean, he scored seventy points. He's very marketable. Uh, he's not also a backup, but uh, who knows? Or Terry Rozier has a a, a breakout season. Not a, not a breakout break, uh, breakout playoff run. Who knows? You might be the be the face, but uh, it's gonna be on time will tell me. We know if you sign with Rod Nation, you're pretty much gonna be in Pumas, because I think all the all the uh, signees right now are in Pumas. So we, we, we're gonna see. I'm very interested to see what kind of uh, what kind of rollout they do with diff- the different shoes, different colorways. Or like you said, they would give somebody a, a signature shoe or something. It's funny as we mentioned the Celtics. You know, Puma isn't the only sneaker looking to make a splash in the NBA right now. Puma isn't the only sneaker looking to make a splash. We know about N one. N one is looking to make a comeback. So we'll see if they're able to get some NBA players because they're looking to make a comeback. But New Balance, no, New Balance no. is looking no. to make a splash in the NBA. No, and their number one target right now is Gordon Hayward. Now, Gordon Hayward, many of you know he suffered a devastating injury in the opening game of the 2017-18 season last year in Cleveland, playing against the the Cleveland Cavaliers. He went for a backdoor alley-oop, ran into LeBron. I mean, it's almost the man is still out there, you know, when he ran into LeBron in in the air and he came down wrong. And it was, I mean. If you don't see, if you haven't seen that video, please don't go look at it. Yeah, it was something vicious. But he's back. He's back. You know, he's been working out for a few months now. About three weeks ago, he slam dunked, he said, for the first time. And, you know, was very confident. Well, not the first time, but the first time since the injury. And was very confident. But New Balance is looking to make Gordon Hayward the face of their sneak. They're not only looking at Gordon Hayward. They're looking at Joel B and another gentleman that we'll mention in a moment. But can, can Gordon Hayward lead the sneaker community? Can, can, can you see some little Gordon Haywards running around? No. That's just a, a cold no. What, what what are you seeing? You see my face, right? <laughs> <laughs> so y'all mean to tell me y'all you, not getting the Hayward ones? Man, no. There's only been one person, and the name I might throw out. If you watch basketball, you know who he is. But don't mind no Matt Bonner is. 
Matt the, Bonner. He was the only one. What they, what they call the Red Rocket? The Red Rocket the Red in San Rocket. Antonio. <laughs> he wore New Balances, and he wore the same ones, I think, for, if I'm not mistaken, it was probably three or four years straight. He wore the same ugly New Balance sneakers. Yeah, they, they, off, the, they off the court wears. It's, it's, it's slick. I understand why New Balance wants to give Gordon I'm gonna Hayward. I'm going to have to get y'all some New Balance Gordon Haywards, man. I, 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 you won't wear those. I, I, that's why I'm going to have to get y'all some New Balance I'm not Balance wearing Gordon No, those, those are <laughs> filthy. I'm not wearing But I honestly, I probably, we know, we know why they're trying to they're sign target Gordon. market. Yeah, they Target you know, market, you know, New Balance is a running shoe. Uh, Boston Marathon. Gordon Hayward's supposed to be the great white hope. So and he's recovering. He's, he's recovering. It, it, it so seem like you know when you're recovering from a devastating injury and you're trying it, it, to get things going, getting these new balances. But I mean, I think he's a he's a sneaky free agent after this season. But is Joel be No, don't. No, no. Once he's a big man, big man don't sell shoes. But he's international though, so you know they might be going for another market in that. And B and B is definitely a superstar. That whole Rihanna. That's why he, that's why he need to go to Nike. He, 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 right now, right now he wears Adidas. He, he yeah, wears Adidas. He goes, so go ahead and go to Swoosh. That'll be interesting. But the other player that New Balance is, is, is looking at is a gentleman whose contract is about to expire with Jordan, and they may not be resigning him, and that's Kawhi Leonard. So New Balance is looking at Kawhi. So when I, you know, what I got, what, I, what I'm wondering, Jordan put a, a, a offer out to Kawhi a few months ago, something like. Four for twenty-two. Yeah, four yeah. four years, twenty-two million. So it'd have been roughly a little over five million per season. Now, and you know, to us, that's great money, of course. But for your superstar, your top tier athletes, I mean, it's not. You know, and it is. Is it needed because I know he wants to be the the James Harden to get the two hundred million dollar deal, the Stephs and the Bronze, but they speak. <laughs> They're marketable. <laughs> you don't talk. Kawhi gonna get to a, a Toronto and have a lot to say. We gonna he, he gonna drop a diss record against the Spurs and all that. That's some stuff that your Lakers players do. So, <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, I want to go to the Lakers. He so I guess come he over. Ahead. But I mean, Kawhi, please don't do that. I rather you go. I rather you go to Under Armour for the New Balance. I think he would mess with Nike. You know, if, if things. I, I hope I like. You know, I like some of the. Claw remixes to some of the Jordans I was seeing yeah. wearing the PE edition. Exactly. And they, I can't wear no claws and, claws and New Balances. They don't even, no. New Balance not stay out of the NBA game. Well, you know, <laughs> now that he's in Toronto, Drake, even though it's been Adidas. rumored that Drake is going to Adidas, you know, Drake had a very strong relationship with Jordan for some time. So maybe being in the Toronto market might shake things up. And like you said, maybe if Kawhi says a, a word or two, hey, everyone, how you doing? Or something like that, you know, he'll get a little more marketable and – well, you know, we'll see how how things take put off like, in that lane. Put it like this: I've been next to Kawhi, and I've probably heard maybe three words from him. Yeah, the brother don't. So speak. He don't speak, so you can't get mad. They they give you this. If you think you get low ball, you get speak on the court though. That's his thing. I mean, his game speak, but yeah, but you got to be marketable. We can't just do a commercial. You not talking. You got to sell our product. Yeah, got to got got to say yeah, something. Least, least it's, it's about the kids. The kids buy sneaks. Yeah, I mean, and if you're not talking out there, the kids got all the rap in the world. They want to hear you say something. They want they want to hear you talking. So it'll be interesting. Let us know your thoughts. You can comment below when you check these clips out on YouTube or on Instagram. Where should Kawhi go? Is Gordon Hayward a perfect fit for New Balance? And Puma, can they take over the NBA, man? Mm. As we wrap up today's show, it was, it was a great week in Atlanta. Shout out to our man, the six man. Six man, six God. We were out booming out in South Gwinnett like Lou Will. Six man like Lou Will. And every summer, Lou Will, his whole team, shout out to his team. Shout out to his lovely mother. Shout out to, to Erica, Andrea, who do things on his PR side with Theriecom and CC. Shout out to y'all. Who's doing things with them as well. They always put together something dope for the youth in the community with Lou Will's annual basketball camp. And this year, it was phenomenal like no other. Sponsored by Peak. Of course, Lou Will, his sneaker deals with yeah, Peak. Yeah, and you know, are kind of slick, too. Yeah, yeah, real slick. What's up, Lou, man? You know, 13, si- brother, 13. Size 9. Size 9. Just, yeah. you know, waiting, <laughs> waiting for them Lou Will bills. But it, it's always dope to see what he does for the kids. He gets out there. It was funny. It was a four-day camp. It took place from Monday to Thursday. 
Today he actually got out there and was playing ball with the kids. You know, like he's always out there coaching, helping out with the passes, talking, giving them, you know, with uh, advice on what they need to do. But they were playing five on fives, kind of like the stab versus the kids. So that was dope. But he had a little bit of everybody come through and speak I with see. the kids, and, and and that's always phenomenal. You know, like I look at Will. It's funny. It's almost like he, he's your favorite baller and your favorite rappers. NBA star, you know, your, your, your favorite your favorite NBA player loves Lou Will, your favorite rapper loves Lou Will, you know, it's a good thing to be. He has, he, he, he has uh, the mantra. He got the juice. He got the, he got he, the, he the got juice. Got the juice. <laughs> he has a song, Drake, of course, did the song, as we mentioned, booming out on South Cornette, like Lou Will, the six-man song, but he had Cap G, you know, he's doing his thing right now in the music game, he's from right here, not too far, a couple, couple miles down the road in College Park. He had also newly acquired Los Angeles Clipper Mike Scott come ATM, out there, you know, up, boy? come out, come out and speak with the youth as well. We had Lil Duvall out there, Ti out there, Dwight the Howard out there. Today it was even dope to see Quavo coming. And, and, he bought the stars and, 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 out there. He? he bought the stars out. Lou Will bought the stars out. So big ups to everyone that came through. It was dope. Uh, Dwight came through, man, and gave the kids a lot of game. He pretty much he came at about eleven o'clock. And was there all day. He spoke with the kids, played ball with the kids. Not only did he like speak with the, with the collection of kids, but afterwards he had like a private session with some. It was just like giving them great game. Not only about the game of basketball, but about life. And me personally, I tip my hat when we see these gentlemen who could be doing so many other mm-hmm. things. They already play a long, rugged season. You know, eighty-two games, the playoffs, training camp, preseason. For them to get out and spend their time, spend their hours with the youth, I think that is phenomenal. So once again, shout out to Lou Will, shout out to everyone that they had come through the camp. If you're in the Gwinnett area, it always takes place in South Gwinnett. Next season is something to bring your kids to. They had some kids stand up today and who weren't from Atlanta. You had kids come from New York. You had kids come from the Bahamas. You had kids like come from Hill, eh? had, all over. Had <laughs> kids come from Tennessee. Kids come from Los Angeles, the California area. So that was that to me. I'm like, wow, you know, like that's that's pretty dope. The parents actually brought the kids. You know, you get hotels and stay with family that's and dope. take place in a real dope camp. So once again, salute to salute, salute to Lou Will for everything he does there. Also in the world of basketball, the basketball tournament is here. You know, yeah. and Puma is sponsoring that right now. <laughs> tournament for two million dollars taking place. Right downtown Georgia State, we gonna go check it out again this weekend. I gotta check, man. My cousin playing. I gotta, gotta go check gotta it. Be, gotta, if he get that check, you know, you got something. Hey, we, yo, we, B. Need some, we need some lunch on that brother. Yo, like. B, I need a hey, Bayhounds Army. I need y'all. <laughs> look, last year y'all played me and y'all lost to overseas elites. So I need y'all go ahead and get this win this weekend. Go ahead and win the regionals and go ahead and get this two million. Uh, Brandon, you know, what I'm saying I'm playing. Hey, we got the same name. We family. I need some of that. I need some of that bread. I'm not mad at that. I'm not, I just want a Chick Fil A spicy chicken meal. That's all. That's all. I, hey, if, if I get some bread, I got you down. That's man. all. That's all. It's taking place right now. If you're interested in getting some tickets, you can hit us up on social media. I'm El Dorado two four five two, and I'm CEO Trish. That is C E O T R I C H E. And we might be able to help you all out with that. It's taking place at Georgia State, as we mentioned. The games will be going on. They took place today, Thursday night, tomorrow, which is Friday. It'll also be a slam dunk contest. And that in itself would be for forty thousand dollars and a chance to be featured on a on a. Yeah, they just giving money away. They giving man, money. They, they, they giving money away. That slam dunk card is to take place tomorrow. Then there'll be games also on Saturday and Sunday. So once again, you can hit us up if you're looking for tickets for that. And on Saturday night, Saturday, July 28th, I got to give much love to my homegirl, Lauren. She's out here in the Atlanta area, but she's also a Philadelphia native. She's doing things as a young woman, African-American entrepreneur. Uh-huh. She has a clothing line coming out, and it's clothes and lingerie. So, you know, you, you want to see a lady get sexy and do her thing. Uh, ladies, <laughs> if you want to get sexy, she's having a unveiling party that'll take place this week. And it'll be right down the street, not too far from here on Nelson Street. And yours truly will be hosting. So I'm going to be in that thing on the one, two. This boy, stay getting money. Seeing, seeing, seeing what the models are doing, you know, see, see if they walking it like they talking it in that lines array. So shout out to you, Miss Lady, and, 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 and everything you have going on. You can follow her. I'll have the details posted on social media as well. You can check out the information on the flyer. You can purchase your tickets. Come out, have a drink. Come kick it with me and, and, and have a great time. Have a great time, yes, man. Sir, yes, sir. Great show as always, man. Course, it's always brother, a pleasure. We got to yes, give sir. big love and shout out to our man H back there doing what he does, giving us the platform the one to and make, only. make things great out here. Once again, one more time, big shout out to Don. DNA Sports Talk. Follow that brother. He's giving you dope content just like we are as well. 
As always, stay locked to what's going on here at Live Hip Hop Daily. There are a lot of dope personalities, a lot of dope shows, a lot of dope talent coming here, coming out of this studio right here in downtown Atlanta. We'll be back next Thursday. Where can they check you out? Hey, man. Check me on all social media platforms. CEO Trish. That is C-E-O-T-R-I-C-H-E. Hey, man. I'm doing some things out here, man. Check me out. El Dorado 2452. 24 hours in a day. 52 weeks in a year. So that's how we getting down. Also, follow these Urban Times. And make sure you're checking out the station and the studio live, Hip Hop Daily. There'll be a lot more dope content coming. Support it. Peace and blessings. Good morning, depending on where you're at. See you next Thursday.